Welcome to Analytics with Nux. In this video, we are going to see about how to import few columns from a table in a SSAS tabular model. Consider like you have a table, very big table, it can be a dimension or fact, and it contains multiple columns, and those are not used for your real analysis. You need to skip it, right? So for that, there are different ways to do it. One of the best way I would suggest is that uh, writing uh, views in the database layer, then use those, so whatever columns required for the model, use that only those columns in the view, then you can import it. This is one. But some time you do not have a control over the database in those cases you can do on your side in SSAS tabular model let us see in this video if you're new to this channel hit the subscribe button right now to learn the concepts in SSAS tabular model so there are two scenarios I'm seeing like while importing for the very first time uh, how you can do is write SQL queries, right? That is your solution. You can write SQL query from a big table, like you have a table with 20 columns. You choose only 10 uh, columns in the select statement, then you can use it. Then after importing, uh, you may be in a support project or you will be uh, uh, once uh, in the beginning you have imported a table and where you need to uh, remove such conditions so that you want to improve your performance, right? That option I will show it to you. So what is the benefit of it? So it's a clean model. Uh, you will not have any confusion when you have required columns. Then your performance will be really, really good of, of doing this exercise. Let us jump into a demo. Let's see the first scenario. So I have a model here, like we uh, recently imported a dim uh, promotions that is not available, but you can see here there are a lot of columns that is not used at all, right? I want only the English name. I'm this uh, scenario, I'm not going to use any of the other columns. Let us take uh, only the discount price or uh, discount point then I will put it right here so I'll just write a simple um, a select query like this uh, discount um, I want only the three columns so write a select query like this then I can import it so I have this column already but I want to import it new column instead of uh, directly fetching it from a new table I mean uh, from a table options I can write a query that is what the first option is so this exercise you can do if you do not have a control over database so how to do it just go to import new tables so from here select from list of tables views instead you go for write a query that specify a data to import here you write a query here I will say like um, a promotion optimize something like that okay let us validate the query yes it's valid then let's finish it so promotion optimized you can see here the new table over here it's importing now so promotion optimized contains only uh, the three columns uh, over here whereas you have uh, promotions which have multiple columns which is not at all required so the storage of your model will be typically uh, optimized right so this is what this is uh, what i want to say while importing itself you can do okay now you see here uh, this is already imported how can I do it, right? You cannot uh, uh, delete this model and replay. That is too risky in your production environment. So the one of the thing is like, you want to reduce the columns of the existing uh, uh, table. Like click on this table, then click on uh, <coughs> table properties, right? So basically there are other ways you might have thought of right once you imported you can do like uh, click on it here and delete columns right uh, or you want to delete the selected columns permanently you, you can say yes but let us try to see that one so go here table properties you see I mean okay this, this has selected it here so uh, basically you come here and remove whatever columns you do not want uh, you can see promotion category everything I don't want delete it here okay 
so you have deleted you do not want anything except uh, those uh, in the optimize this is another way of doing i'm just trying to explain uh, what you need to do so you can delete those columns and you go and select it here dim promotion table properties you see here there is something like unchecked here uh, so all these columns uh, will not be read from the source itself, right? So that is what uh, it is. So the basically uh, the option you have is either you can delete in this way or go to this uh, table. Uh, assume you want to add another column here. So go to this table properties. I want uh, something like uh, English uh, promotion uh, uh, discount something, okay? New column. Now it will appear here. So this is how you can play around uh, the English promotion type. There is no discount, volume discount like that. Okay. So I told two things. One, you while you importing itself, you can write a query. Once you import it, either you can delete the columns here or you can use the table properties. So these are two options available to reduce your columns so that your model will be performant efficient. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button right now to learn the concepts in SSAS Tableau model and comment below for your queries. Do remember that data is your asset.